hi dearies welcome back to my channel this is savvy word in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful lovely pecha made with crinoline if you like to learn how i made this kindly watch till the end let's get started here are the things needed for the crinoline pecha i have this crinoline here white um it's not a very wide one this is a uh, uh, let me just take the measurement so we could see it's about um, 5 inches almost 5 inches that's 4.8 um, 4.8 uh, 4 inches <laughs> sorry so that's what I have here um, with the design I want to do this is perfect for you you could use this or the wider one but the smaller one no it will not fit in for this particular design okay so i have this uh, crinoline here i have about um five meters here five meters i don't know if i'm going to exhaust everything yet then i have this uh, bra cap okay you know as we usually do we usually trim off this place to make it um, round but for this particular project i wouldn't be trimming it even if i want to trim just a little reshaping this place okay not as much curve as the one we usually do so it's okay like this then i'm go i'll go ahead and use this a uh, white fabric to just um, wrap it okay because white i hope we all know how to wrap so i'm going to do that off camera so that this video will not be too long then i have my bias here white bias you know what bias is right Okay, I have my candle glue gone. Here is my UHU and my threads. That's all for now. So what I'm going to do um, for this, I'm going to start folding it like this. You can see I already started folding it. I'll just um, hold it and um, fold it in half like this. Then add my glue. I'll add glue at um, both sides okay just for it to stick together because i want it double like that so once i add my glue i will allow it dry you know this is um uh uhu it take um, takes a little time to dry up so that's why i will need to wait if not it start the, the gum starts popping out from the um, holes in the net remember that is a net so but if it is some um, candle glue I think once you do it like that once you apply the glue you can stick it immediately but the only issue I have with it is that I will need to press it down with my hands and you know that you um, candle glue gun is usually very hot so I don't want to get my hands burned because of a of fascinator so that's why i'm just um, using uhu so once it's dried up a little bit i'll press it together like this you can see it's opening up it's not fully dry so i'll still allow it to dry up nice fully dry you can see it sticks together so i'll continue like that till i i may not exist, exhaust everything but at least i will go a little bit far till um, i get what i want at the end of the day i will let you know how many yards or how many meters i use all together okay so i'll go ahead and continue doing this off camera then i will also go ahead and wrap this off camera then get back to us here is it. I finished um, gluing it. I didn't finish it. So what I have here is about um, uh, four um, inches, um, four yards, sorry, four yards. And uh, that is the equivalent of a three and a half meter. Okay. So now that I succeeded in doing that, you see, I didn't cut it out. The remaining part, I didn't cut it out. So that if I need more, I'll continue so i glued it like that and i also went ahead to wrap this uh, bra cap both inside and outside then what i'm going to do now is to take my bias 
and this um, very edge that I glue, you can see how it is, right? Uh -huh. This is the the curved side, and this is the um, the side I glued now, which is the edges. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to add some glue to these um, bias and start covering it, okay? I'll add bias, to, um, add glue and cover it like this, these rough edges, I will, something like this, this is how I want it to be. Let me just show you a little bit before I wrap it off camera. So you apply to a reasonable length, you pick it up, pick the um, crinoline, put the midpoint of the bias to the exact edge of uh, the crinoline, then you hold it together like this for it to stick. That's all you need to do. You can as well allow it dry before doing this so that it will be very fast and easy for you. So, here is it. This is how I want it to be. I'll go ahead now and do it like that completely, then show it to us. So, here is it. I finished um, adding the bias to it you can see how neat it's looking i cut this one um, piece out of it okay if you see let me take the measurement of this now i'm taking it like this not from here but from the upper side okay like this i have 13 inches here okay 13. so now it depends on what you're using um, the Bokran cap you are using that's what will determine the length so uh, I'm supposed to cut all of them down but if I do that I will be making mistakes or some will be longer and I don't want to um, waste my uh, crinoline do you understand so what I'm going to do you see this curvy part of it if you are using um, bra cup the, you know there is a, a side that looks a kind of flat okay and there is another side that looks kind of curvy okay this side is curvy that's where i'm going to start from and that's where will be the front so you know the design one of the they, they, they were like this or they're placed like this okay and they start coming up in steps like this but first of all one went down like this okay so this is how it is so I'm going to, um, before gluing them, before gluing um, these ones, I'm going to make sure I cut all of them out. But before then, I'll go ahead now and pin it. I'll use my, my pin to secure this uh, first part so that I'll know where uh, or um, place the other ones on it to cut it out. So you just watch me. After this first part, the next one now, which is where I'm going to start cutting them because I'm going to make sure I tie the edge, each of the edge so that I will not start losing. That's the essence, okay? So while this one is facing down, the rest I'm going to face up like this, okay? So you can see why I don't want to use the measurement I use for this to cut this other one because it will be, uh, it will be smaller or... Um, bigger than it so and you know the more i go up the more it decreases so just fold it like this so now that i have it like this i'm going to make sure i cut it from here so i'll cut it here Then I'll place the next one again. Note that I'm going to tie them later. I'm just trying to um, take the measurement like this. Okay. I may not even pin it anymore since I already get the 
the logic okay this one is going to be like this I'll cut it right here And the next one, so you can see that uh, the more I go, the more is uh, decreasing. So that's the way I'm going to arrange it. So I'll I'll cut out the next one now. It will be um, a little bit reduced more than this. Just a little bit. So I'll have five of it here. Then the other one is going to come like this. Okay. So first of all, we're going to glue this one first before um, cutting the other part of it. So now I'm going to remove the pins now. Yeah. I have to remove the pins so that I can add my glue. Remember that um, crinoline is usually frail, okay? So because of that, I went ahead to tie the edges like this. So these are the first um, six I'm going to use. After um, tying it, I'm going to add some glue right here. Like this. And also add some glue at the um, body of the cap like so after that I'll place it from one edge like this to the other holding it down like so you could allow it dry a little bit before uh, sticking it to it like this okay like this then I'll go ahead and also stitch it go ahead and stitch but if you don't want to stitch it you could use um, this uh, candle gun, candle glue okay with the gun so once you are using that I don't think there will be any need to stitch but I feel like using this and I will just stitch it a little bit. So, not some serious stitching, just picking it. The stitching will not get to this other end, okay? Just from here, I'll pick it like this. You can see it is neatly stitched from here to here. So, I'm going to take the next one add some glue and put it right on top of it like this facing the other side okay so let me add some glue now after adding my glue i will place it like this so i'll go ahead and stitch it This time around, I will stitch it coming inside so that the stitches will not be showing. The third one, I added the glue already, so I'll place it right here. I'll go ahead and stitch it again. So what I'm going to do now, I may not stitch it across the way I did others. I will just tack it here, tack it here, and tack it at the middle there. Okay? So let me do it and get back. Then the next one. Uh, what I did here, after stitching here and here, I didn't stitch this place. I just um, added glue and stick it to the one behind it. Same thing I'm going to repeat here. You can see I added glue at the back side. 
then all of this place just glue so i will neatly place it like this holding it in this form then slot it in like this then i can now stitch here and here while the glue i added at the back of this crinoline here i'll press it towards the one at the middle so that it can stick to it okay so i don't have to stitch this midpoint i'll only stitch here and here so i'm just going to continue like this placing them and arranging them till i complete the five that are supposed to be here you can see the step okay here is how far we've gone so after stitching it like this now it's going to be like this on my head okay this place is going to face my um right ear so i'm going to start the next um design is going to start coming from here like this so first of all uh, I cut out the first piece that I'm going to add here, like this, okay, just like where we did the front. Then this one is going to come from here, like this, and end here. The first one will be down, okay. So uh, remember, I'm going to add glue and tie both ends, okay. So if here is going to be like this. So, I'll go ahead and cut the rest of them. The next one will come like this to go up again and drop down here. Okay? So, that's how I'm going to do it. You see, I went ahead to add my comb uh, hairband because um, I don't know, at the time I finish everything, I may find it difficult to stitch it. This is um kind of iron it's not the type that has a, a fabric covering it okay so let me go ahead now and just cut off these ones i'm going to place it like this and keep cutting keep cutting like this okay here are some of them i cut out already okay the smallest one um this is the one i'm going to use to face down okay so the smallest one from the where the design is going to start coming up is about eight inches eight inches so what i did was after eight inches i started increasing them by half an inch so if this is eight the next one eight and a half nine nine and a half ten just like that so that was how i achieved all these ones then um, what i'm going to do now just to add my glue at the edges then tie them just the way i did this then later you can see i'm done with them i just arranged them according to um their sizes or their lengths okay so that i will not make mistake so what i'm going to do is to take my glue and add some glue here So I'll stick it right here. So for this, I don't need to stitch. I don't need to stitch at all. Just hold it there. It will stick to it. Then I pick the next one. Add some glue. I push it in, okay? From there, it will come like this. Take the next one. I want to welcome you all once more to this channel. If you are just joining us, if today is your first time here, you are highly welcome. You are in the right place. In order to be a part of this wonderful family, please kindly hit the subscribe button. And to those who have been with us, 
and who have subscribed i say a big thank you to you and to those who have been watching without subscribing please do well to subscribe note that you don't pay for subscribing so you see i finished arranging them okay so what i'm going to do next is to add the last one but before then i need to cover all these rough edges so that the um, you know i'm not using a matching tray so i'll use this bias to cover up these places so that it will cover it will not be showing this color of tray okay so a very simple method i'll add some glue directly to this place like this you can use uhu at times i prefer using this so the matter of choice this is going to be where i'm going to form the rows okay so now i will add some glue to this place um let's start from here and bring it like this to this place so let me add some glue here Here, hold it there while it's um, dry up so that it can stick before you proceed. Once it dry and sticks, I'm going to start rolling it. Okay. So. This part here, I'm going to add glue. now add glue here as i go on i will just keep adding glue now that i'm done with this part see add more glue this other part I will add some glue to put it in place as well. Then I'll pass it inside or from under. Like this. some glue here to hold this place down I'll pass it from here now bring it under and pass it up or bring it up from here At this stage, I can cut it out. Now I'm going to use this smaller crinoline to make a rose. I added glue here, fold it into two, then just start picking it like this. What I used here is about half an inch. You could use more than that, depending on how big you want the rose to be. 
So I'll start pulling it from the beginning where I started. I pull as I pull, I'll try to twist it. Let me cut off these rough edges. Meanwhile, this is the side where the needle is, okay? So I'll just keep rounding it like this, like this, like this, till I achieve it. stitch it together just part the needle randomly from the bottom straight up down again till I'm able to secure it once it's firm I will leave it I'm done with the rows I'll go ahead and attach it here. So in order to attach, I'll add some glue right there. Add some glue at this place as well. Then I'm, I'm going to stitch it. I'm going to stitch it so that it will remain firm. So my needle and thread is still here. I'll just stitch it down. I finished stitching it so what I'm going to do this place I'm not going to leave it open like this I just made two um, bow okay you know how to do bow now it's very simple just fold like this that's all tight so what I'm going to do I'll push this one in like this add some glue and use it to cover here like so going to stick before releasing your hands and this other one I'm just going to place it right here to cover this place up so I'm done with that you can see the way I cover it so the last step now I'm going to um, add some glue right here and use another bias to cover it like this so that it will be neat okay I'm going to do it round and get back to us. This is the final look. Is this not amazing? Wow, this is nice. I went ahead to also cover the inner part with bias. You can see it's very neat both inside and outside. See the rose? Wow, this is amazing. I'm going to put it on right now so you can see the beauty. This is our final work. Does it look nice? You can see this place, see the way this part is interwoven and see the rows I made there with crinoline and see the way the steps are here just ranging like this. Will you believe this was made with crinoline? Wow, this looks so beautiful and nice on me. I look like Queen Elizabeth. Wow, wow. This is amazing. I can't wait to rock this. Please, I hope you, you have learned something new today. Try this out and let me know in the comment section how yours came out, okay? And if you have any questions to ask, feel free to ask me questions in the comment section. Feel free to share this video with your friends and your well-wisher. And to those who are just joining us, I want to welcome you specially to this family. And in order to be a full member of this family, 
the first thing to do is to hit the subscribe button which is just down below showing red and once you click on it it changes to black it means you have subscribed if it is still showing red it means you have not subscribed yet and note that you are not paying for subscribing you are not being charged for subscribing at all okay and again turn on the notification bell in front of the subscribe button so that you get notified anytime we upload new video because we upload videos every mondays and we also were involved in a lot of creative activities including kitchen work and i'm very sure that you like our recipes here yeah? and um do well to give us a thumbs up so those who have been with us through the canteen who have subscribed uh, subscribed and who have been supporting us i say a big thank you thank you and thank you god bless you i love you and for those who have been watching these videos without subscribing what are you waiting for you are not being charged for subscribing please and please do well to subscribe to support us and to encourage us so that we can be happy anytime we are making videos for you for you now i'm going to leave you guys here till i come your way again next time i remain happy with bye